Hi guys, in the previous video, we learned how to perform merge operation in binomial heaps. So in this video, we are going to learn the rest of the five operations on binomial heaps. So we have already learned this operation, the union or the merge operation. So if you don't know how to perform merge operation in binomial heaps, you will not be able to understand all these operations as some of these operations involve the merge operation as a sub operation. So if you need to clearly understand these five operations, you should know how to do the merge operation that I have explained clearly in the previous video. So in this video, we will not only see that how these five operations are performed, but we will also calculate their time complexities, right? So uh, let us look at the first operation that how do we find a minimum element in a binomial heap H. So we are looking at this operation. So suppose we are given this binomial heap H and we need to find the minimum element. So according to you, where can we find the minimum element in a binomial heap H with, which has all these binomial trees? So this is a B0, this is B1, B2, B3. Okay, so I'm taking this example where we will get the minimum element of this binomial heap H. Will it be somewhere over here at a bottom level or at the top level? So, if you think, if you think a little bit, you will understand that all these uh, binomial trees, this B0, B1, B2 and B3, all of them are separately following the heap ordering property. And the heap ordering property says that the minimum element out of all these elements in a single binomial tree, that means the minimum element out of all these ele elements in this B2 will be at its root, right? That is the heap ordering property. So that means all the minimum elements will be at the root. Now, if you need to find the minimum element of this entire heap, so you are going to definitely get it in this first row itself, right? And I have told that this first row is actually known as root list, right? This entire first row, which includes 12, 7, 15 and 6, is known as the root list. So you will get the minimum element of this binomial heap in this root list, right? So what you need to do? You need to traverse just this root list. So first you will check over here. So what you will do? First of all, you will store your minimum element as 12 and then you will see that uh, this element is less than your minimum element. 7 is less than 12. So you will make your minimum element as 7, right? Then you will come over here, right? On, on 15. And then you will see 15 is actually greater than your minimum element. So you will not do an updation of minimum element. Then you will come over here on 6. And you will see that 6 is less than the minimum element that you previously had. 6 is less than 7. Then you will update your minimum element as 6, right? So uh, you have to traverse this entire root list. Uh, we learned how to find the minimum element in a binomial heap. So what is the time complexity to find a minimum element? So what you need to do, you just need to perform one step that you need to traverse the entire root list and there only you will get the minimum element. So what is the length of the root list? So if there are n nodes in the binomial heap, the length of the root list, we learned in the last video, if there are n elements in the binomial heap, this is the maximum length of the root list. So the time complexity of this operation, which involves traversing only the root list will be in worst case order of log n, right? Right? So now we are done with how to find the minimum element in a binomial heap. Now let us look at the second operation that is extract minimum or you can call it delete the minimum element. Okay? In the first step, you will find the minimum element, then you will delete that minimum element. So how is this operation performed in a binomial heap? Okay, so what you will do in the first step, you will find the minimum element, right? You will perform this operation, right? And in the second step, when you will finally find the minimum element, so suppose you found that the minimum element is over here, right? So in the second step, you will delete the minimum element node, okay? So you will delete this minimum element node, but you are still left with all its descendants, right? You are not deleting this part. You are not deleting all the descendants of the deleted node, right? So I'll draw this part over here. So basically, 
after deleting the minimum element, how do you attach the, it, all its descendants to the original binomial heap, right? So if you look clearly, uh, you will find that this is a B0, right? And this is a B1. I've just taken these elements, right? All its descendants, while this is a B2, right? So what you can do is that you have not deleted all these elements. All you have deleted is six, which was the minimum element. So as a third step, what you will do is that you will reverse the root list. So if you look clearly, this also looks like a binomial heap, right? But uh, in a binomial heap, I have already told that the, bino that the binomial tree with the lowest order comes first or they are arranged in ascending order of their, uh, in the ascending order of the order of binomial trees, right? So basically B0 should not be here, it should be at the starting, B1 should be at the uh, middle and then B2 should be at the end because we want ascending order, right? Even here you can see B0 comes first, B1, B2, then B3. So we, can, we cannot call this a binomial heap. So what we have to do is that we need to reverse all these pointers of just the root list. So when we finally reverse this row, we will get this, right? We'll get this. And now this is actually a binomial heap, right? This is a binomial heap. Let us call it H2, right? So this original binomial heap was H and this is H2. So what we need to do is that we need to merge this H, this remaining H, we need to merge this H, this binomial heap with this H2. We need to perform a merge operation, right? So what we did in the third step, we reversed the root list. We just reversed the root list, right? Uh, 44 came first, then 10 in the middle, and then 8, which was at the starting, came at the end. And then we got H2, a binomial heap. Then in the end, we merged this H2 with this original binomial heap H. And then finally, this extract minimum operation will be completed. I have uh, taught you how to merge two binomial heaps in the previous video. So I want you to merge these two binomial heaps yourself, right? So what is the time complexity? of this extract minimum operation or delete minimum operation. So to find minimum, we came to know that the time complexity is order of log n. And if we want to delete the minimum element node, we just deleted that six, right? That was a constant time operation. So that is order of one. And to reverse this root list, so the in order to reverse it, we need to traverse the whole root list, right? Because we need to reverse all the pointers also of these right siblings, right? So for that, it will take order of log n time. Why? Because uh, the worst case length of this root list is order of log n, right? And what about this merge operation? We learned in the last video that the time complexity of the merge operation is also order of log n. So this is also order of log n. So if we need to find out the time complexity, it is order of log n plus order of one plus order of log n Plus for the fourth step where we perform the merge operation, it's again order of log n. So the final time complexity is of the order of log n, right? So the time complexity even for delete minimum is order of log n. Now let us see the third operation, which is we want to insert an element x in a binomial heap h. But the amortized time complexity for a single insert when we consider a series of n insertions comes out to be as order of one, that is the amortized, right? Now let us look at this operation, which is the decrease operation, where in a binomial heap h, for a node x, we decrease its value from x to k, right? For example, I write this operation as decrease h, if suppose this is my entire binomial heap h, for the node with value 30, I want to decrease it to 3, to the value 3. Suppose the node with value 30, I want to decrease it, uh, its value to 3. So this is my node with value 30. I want to decrease it from 30 to 3. Okay? And suppose we don't need to find this node. We are already provided a pointer to this node. Okay? So what we can do in the first step is that change change value of x to k. Okay, 
so if we change so we in the first step we change the value of x to k but don't you see that this is violating the heap ordering property over here because in this binomial tree in this binomial tree b3 the minimum element should be the root but here you can see uh, the minimum element should be the root and every element's descendants should be greater than that element but here 8 is this element and its descendant is smaller 3 is smaller than that so what we do is that we do the adjustments and we swap these two nodes, right? So this will be 3, while this will become 8, right? Now, is this a binomial heap? No, it is still not following the heap ordering property because for in case of 6, all its descendants are not greater than it. Here, there is an element 3 which is smaller than it. So we swap again these two elements. So 6 will come over here and 3 will come at the top. Right? Number of adjustments is actually equal to the height of the binomial tree, right? And we have already learned that for a binomial tree BK, for a binomial tree BK, its height is actually K. We have already learned this, right? This binomial tree BK has 2 raised to K nodes, right? We have also learned this. So N is equal to 2 raised to K. So if we need to find out the value of K, we will log on both sides, right? We will log on both sides and we will get k as log n, right? So k is actually of the order of log n and k is actually the also the height of our binomial tree and that is the maximum length for which we need to make these adjustments in order to maintain the heap ordering property after we decrease the value of any element on which we have a pointer, right? So in the next step, what we need to do, we need to make adjustments, right? And that adjustments, we learned, we have to make it for, for this entire height in the maximum case, right? When suppose we uh, change the value, decrease the value of this element. So we need to make it for the entire height. And the entire height is of the order of log n in the worst case, right? And this step, changing the value of x to k just takes order of one time. So what is the total time complexity of this decrease operation, it is order of 1 plus order of log n. So it is order of log n. So again, even this operation takes order of log n time, right? Now let us look at the last operation that we can perform in binomial heaps, that is deleting an element. So suppose we want to delete an element in a binomial heap h, we want to delete an element x, right? Or we want to delete a node x. Suppose we want to delete an element in this binomial heap H, we want to delete the element 8, okay? And let us suppose we don't need any time in order to search this element, we are already provided a pointer to this element, we just need to delete it. So in the first step what we do is that, we perform the decrease operation and we decrease the value of this node in the binomial heap H of this node 8 to minus infinity, right? So if we, we will decrease the value to minus infinity. But as you know, decrease operation doesn't uh, finish over here. We have to make the adjustments because this is not following the heap ordering property. So as minus infinity is smaller than 6, so both of these will be swapped. Minus infinity will come over here and 6 will come over here. Again, minus infinity is smaller than 3. So these will also be, be swapped, right? 3 will come over here. So now minus infinity is finally at the root, right? So we performed a decrease operation over here. Now we are trying to delete the element 8, right? In the first step, what we did, did was we actually decreased the value of the element 8 to minus infinity. And then it was not following the heap ordering property. So we did these adjustments and we brought the minus infinity to the root list. In the second step, is very simple. We just have to perform this extract minimum operation or you can say delete minimum operation. Of course, we have got a minus infinity at our root list. So which do you think will be the minimum element in our binomial heap? Of course that minus infinity, right? And after that, whatever happens in the delete minimum or extract minimum operation, I've already told you that this node will get deleted and this and this binomial heap's root list will actually get reversed to make it a binomial heap. And then finally, we will merge it with the original heap. 
I've already told this in the extract minimum operation. Anyway, so here also, we, here we are going to do a delete minimum operation in the second step. And that is how we will finally perform a delete operation. So delete operation actually consists of the decrease operation and a delete minimum operation. So we know the time complexities of both the operation. It is log n, order of log n, and this is also order of log n. So this will be order of log n plus order of log n. So our final time complexity for the delete operation is also order of log n, right? So all the operations have the time complexity as order of log n. So we've looked at the find minimum operation where we learned that to, in order to find an element in a binomial heap, we just need to search in its, in its root list. And then we looked at the extract minimum operation in which we actually uh, delete the uh, minimum element from the root list. And then we, we look at its descendant nodes. And in those descendant nodes, we actually reverse its root list. And then what the binomial heap that we get, we merge it with the original binomial heap, right? And then we looked at the insert element operation in which we made a binomial heap of a single node, that node that we want to insert. And then we merged that single node with the original binomial heap. We performed the merge operation in the second step. And then we looked at the decrease uh, operation where we changed the value of a node x to a particular value. And then we had to do adjustments in order to maintain the heap ordering property, right? And then finally our decrease operation got over. And then finally we looked at the delete operation in which we did the previous two operations in order to complete this delete operation that we decrease the value of the element to be deleted from that value to minus infinity. But then we need to do the adjustments in the decrease operation, right? To maintain the heap ordering property. Then when we did that, that minus infinity went to the root list and then we did the delete minimum operation in order to complete our delete operation. So that's it for binomial heaps. So we have learned a lot of things in binomial heaps in the last three videos. So in the next video, we are going to start a new advanced data structure that is Fibonacci heaps. Till then, goodbye.